What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to episode 47 of our Pokemon White Domination. Last time, we had a, a little bit of an eventful episode, making it through the Sky Arrow Bridge where we met face-to-face -face with Getsis and, of course, the little trio of people. And then we made it here on Route 9, I do believe this is, where uh, in the shopping mall, something went wrong. Gosh darn it. In today's episode, we're making our way into Opelousa City and continue on from there. If you're enjoying our Pokemon White Domination, thank you so much. Leave me a comment down below just saying that you're enjoying it. I appreciate it. I appreciate the click. I appreciate that you're enjoying it. Let's go to a team recap where you just, if you looked quick enough, you saw what we what I was talking about. But first up, I'm gonna try and turn my audio down. Maybe I'll talk a little less quiet because I can see the audio peaking just on how I'm talking. But first up, we caught this yesterday. So this is Paul, our level 34 dark type Hitmonchan holding the lucky egg with uh, nothing. Ignore his moves, he has egg he has uh, air lock though. Next up we have Gabby, the leader of our team, a level 45 steel water type slacking, holding the omulet coin, lax nature with heat crash, hydro pump, eruption, and toxic, and the swift swim ability. Next we have Lando, our level 45 grass dark type wall rain. He takes a hit very well. Uh, he has power whip, surf, psychic, and uh, strength. With torrent, I do believe he's well, he's not quite our best defensive mon, but I think his special defense is the best. Next, we have Christine, the queen of the team, our level 45 electric bug type Amphros with serious nature, with Volt Switch, Power Whip, Ice Beam, and Mud Bomb, and the Overgrow ability. Next, we have Roshni, the safe switch in, our level 45 fire dragon type Kingler, uh, with Shadow Punch, Ice Beam, Venoshock, and Blue Flare, and Guts. And I do believe that is the entire team. Erastos died last episode and it was very sad because we were just setting him loose it was literally his first battle that i was like okay you're ready let's go <clears throat> speaking of talking quieter so i don't peek the mic hello domino this way oh yeah we're just gonna sneak behind here gets us what a liar desperately trying to con everyone with his speech yeah Heh, <laughs> that's correct. Our Lord N has combined his power with the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon and intends to create a new world. We herald the return of the hero of Unova, founder of this region. Ah, I think that's what I want his voice to be. Pokemon are different from people. They are living beings who contain all unknown potential. Mm. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. They are beings whose greatness we should acknowledge. Beings who should be freed from our op oppression. Free Pokemon? We, Team Plasma, invite you to join us. We want all to create a new world where po people and Pokemon are both free. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you now, please release your Pokemon. So I end my plea to you today. Thank you one and all for your attention. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't really buy this whole Team Plasma thing. I feel like if I was Team Plasma, I would just like, oh, Is it true that we would make a Pokemon suffer? Hmm, maybe we should lease our Pokemon like Team Plasma says. No way, without Pokemon I'll be lonely and sad. That might be the title of this episode. Without Pokemon, I'd be lonely and sad. A concept. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <laughs> uh, I hate this voice. Oh my god, you're such a kid. Whoa. That was scarily accurate. What was that about? That speech was off the charts strange. <clears throat> the cooperation of po <clears throat> The cooperation of poke Oh, there we go. The cooperation of people and Pokemon is how Unova came to exist to begin with. If a Pokemon really didn't want anything to do with humans, it would simply leave. Capturing a Pokemon in a Pokeball doesn't mean you've captured its heart. Ah! Let's go, Domino! Let's go, Domino! Ah, it's been a while, Iris and Drayden! Oh, Mr. Alder! And the guy who helped out that time, you're such a kid! Hmm, what's wrong? Does the Wandering Champion who left the Pokemon League... What does the Wandering Champion who left the Pokemon League need from us? Briefly, my request is this! Tell us about the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon! Are you talking about Reshiram or Zekrom? What's the sudden interest? You're such a kid. 
Moments ago, a troublemaker known as Getsus was here. He said a trainer named N has reawakened Reshiram. Yes! That trainer called N apparently told Domino here to search for the other Dragon-type Pokemon. Hmm, let me check that I have this straight. This N, or what have you, presu uh, presumes to set the two Dragon-type Pokemon against each other in battle to test its con his convictions? Oh no, he's such a kid! The Dragon-type Pokemon get along so well! That's right, Iris. The ones who make Pokemon battle are the trainers. And it's, so, and it's so the trainers and the Pokemon can get to know each other better. I'm going to the Pokemon League. No, I guess in this case I should say I'm returning to the Pokemon League. Of course, I'll defeat N. And I'll teach him about the beauty of his world, of this world, where Pokemon and trainers live together in harmony. Also, Domino, I'll await your arrival. Once you've obtained the Open Lucid Badge, come to the League. The Open Lucid Gym Leader is tough. Take care. Farewell, I'm counting on you, Drayden and Iris. I don't remember which one I fight in this. Ah, he's gone! Is he okay? He looked like a kid! Hmm, don't worry, Iris. He is the strongest trainer in all of Unova. Well, Domino, is it? Come to my home. As Alder asks, I'll tell you everything I can about the legendary Dragon type Pokemon. Iris, child, please show the way. You bet, if it's Opelucid City, I can take you anywhere. As for the story of Reshram and Zekrom, we'll tell you all we know about it this way. That way. I like how they did this. They literally brought me into the view of the Pokemon Center. Of the Centre. Ho ho! Stop. You almost fooled me. I just got done playing Ultra Sun. And in that game, I'm free to heal my Pokemon whenever I want to. This is sad. You shouldn't be in here. Look at that moveset. Waterfall. Power Whip. Hone Claws. Flare Blitz. Token, token. I could fly back. That's right. I was going to fly back. I was going to fly back. Hold on. Before we do anything, before we do anything, we're not going to get encounters just yet. I don't think we need them. That might be a little overconfident. It might be. It might just be a little overconfident. But I don't think we need encounters right now. Unless... Fly all the way to Nacreen City. Nacreen City! Oh! I, I'm trying to sound like Shrek. I'll close this. My computer's acting kind of weird, and I have a feeling it's because Bulbapedia was up. That's not where I want to go. Do these Pokemon go straight to the... Do I make a gamble? Do I make a gamble? This is Gen 5. Surely Gen 5 is good enough that the Pokemon automatically go to the PC and I don't have to have a spot for them. Yes. Turn back the Claw Fossil. Turn back this Claw Fossil. I don't know if I have done one of these yet. It's a Ninetales. Okay. Okay, hold on. Gen 5 is not good enough that I could do that. Apparently, that wasn't a thing until Gen 6. Gen 6 for best gen. Gen 6 for most underrated gen of all time. This is weird having my iPad where it is right now. I'm not even looking at it, and it's weird because I can see myself. That's weird. Alright, hold on. Let me put... Let me just do like this. I gotta have two open spots, and I want to have my flyer, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think we'll go ahead and heal, because we have a lot of Pokemon that don't have any PP. They don't got, they don't, they don't have any PP. Okay, I, I said it, I said it, I, I actually said it twice, if you were paying attention. They don't have any PP. One more time for the people in the back. They don't have any PP. Yes, nickname. Token number 15. K. E. N. Token. 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 Yes. Plume Fossil. This is the one I'm really curious about. I don't think we've had this one yet. How many fossils are there in this game? I need a, I need a number. I need to know. Because I'm pretty sure... This is our third Heatran and our third Ninetales. In fact, I'm extremely confident in those numbers. 
That's fine. I was just kind of hoping that that was going to be an encounter mon, so we could have six Pokemon. But I'm going to go ahead and get another encounter before we do anything else. Uh, now, unless you shiny. Are you shiny, Heatran? Oh. Look, look at the. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to look at it. Look at this. There's one Heatran here. There's already one Heatran here. That was a token. There's three Ninetales in this box. That's so horrible. That's so horrible. I am a bad trainer. I am a bad trainer. All right. Now, if I remember right, I can get one encounter right now. Pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure I can only get one. I don't think I can go to Route 11. I think I can go... Wait. I can go up. I can go to Route 10. I think I can go to Route 10. It's so weird that there's half the game inaccessible. We're not even going to touch half of the game. Because our, our series ends as soon as the Pokemon League ends. And like, that... That's crazy to me. That's that's a little crazy to me. Alright, Pia. Thank you for your service, Pia. I appreciate you. But, as I'm sure you are well aware, Pia, you died. And it wasn't my fault. I don't take any of the blame. I don't take any of the blame for what happened. Right, five of these. Make sure I'm stocked here. One of those. And that should be fine. Alright, now we're gonna make our way this way, not towards Iris. Excuse me, not towards Iris. But instead, we're gonna make our way up here. Whereas I walk through this door. And I don't talk to anybody, because that's not where I'm at in the game just yet. I'm gonna grab our encounter here. Those are not randomized. One of those is an item, but I'll worry about that when it comes. Our encounter is a fracture. Interesting. Okay, I see you. I see you out here, fracture. I see you out here, fracture. Teeter dance. Lava plume. I see you. I see you with these moves. What was that sound effect? I have never heard that sound effect in my entire life. Never, never, never in my entire life have I heard that. Lava plume, lava plume. Alright, Roshni. I'm afraid to attack this thing for obvious reasons, because I'm 12 levels above it, but... I mean, if you're going to hit yourself in confusion, I'm down. Alright, I'm going to throw some Ultra Balls. I don't feel like wasting time throwing Pokeball, throwing Great Ball. You're a Fracture. Come join. Come join. This would be fun. This would be fun. This would honestly be super fun. I'm gonna speed up. He's dumb as a bag of... Uh, as a bag of hammers, though. <clears throat> Hit yourself one more time. Hit yourself one more time. I like this Fracture. What this Fracture's doing is this Fracture understands... The, 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 the way the game works, Fracture understands it. So Fracture's like, hey, I understand that the game system will not capture me like this. Um, so I have to hit myself three times in a row so that you'll be able to catch me. So we have Fracture, the Axe Jaw Pokemon, Grass type. Their tusks can shatter rocks. Territory battles between Fracture can be intensely violent. Well, he's on the team. And his name... is... different. As soon as I hit the Z, as soon as I hit the Z you can see that it is different. Tenzing! His name is Tenzing. Now, let's take a look at Tenzing, because Tenzing is on the team! Tenzing level 33, careful nature. Which raises uh, lower special attack, but Limber, this Pokemon's protected from paralysis. Lava Plume, Substitute, Guard Split, and Dream Eater. Could be better, but he does evolve, so let me see here. Uh, Fracture. Is it level 49? 
Is that right? Is that accurate? 48. Okay. Truthfully, that's really not too far off. We won't use him this gym battle. We'll probably put a, uh, an experience share on him. I like it. Next step. Next task is to explore all of Opelucid City. I know for a fact there are some battles to do. So we're going to explore Opelucid City. In fact, there's one battle that I should probably be concerned about. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and give you the experience share. There we go. Alright, cool. So we have two Pokemon that we're raising a little bit. Now, I mean, let me just make sure I'm not crazy. There's something ahead and the road is closed now. Lazy. That's so lazy. You could have done anything. 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 And it would have been better than that. Alright, here I go. Let's explore all of this area. You have a lot of props. I don't... What, what are props for? Is this, is this the musical thing? Would you like a noon prop to use in the musical? Sure. The gift box. Why is this here? Did people actually do that? I'm sure people did. I'm sure people did. Are you going to give me an item? Whoa, wait, what? It's just between you and me, okay? I'm not really very good as a trainer, so I think T-Plasma might have the right idea when they take Pokemon away from weak trainers. I do feel far sorry for the people that are robbed. What do you mean? This is strange, but it's strange when everyone around you thinks the same way, isn't it? So I left Team Plasma and think for myself about what I want to do. Don't tell a side to the guy on the opposite side. They're now looking at each other. I'm glad I've created an awkward situation for them. So what do you think? No, I, I mean, it's obvious. Wouldn't most people not agree with Team Plasma in that people and Pokemon should be together? It's just the way they, hey, look. I like this person. No way, without Pokemon, I'll be too sad, lonely and sad. But am I only using my Pokemon then? Ooh, I see I see I see your take there. That's an interesting take. Legendary Pokemon is a symbol of Unova. That's an interesting take. Are you just using your Pokemon if you're if you look at it that way? That's interesting. Alright, is this the battle battle house? A triple battle. Wait, say that again? What did she just say? Why'd you actually give me a Destiny Knot? The battle house where you can have a triple battle is next door. Note to Selfie Simo. Bluba! You know what? I'm upset. We are almost all the way through this game. I don't have a Crocodile, a Zekrom, or a Reshiram. What is up with that? Isn't Kiram in this game? I'm pretty sure Kiram is in this game. I'm pretty sure he has an event. Right? Is Kurem in this game? Kurem in black and white. Okay, he is. This Opelucid City soundtrack is... Welcome, glad to see you here at the Triple Battle House. As the name suggests you want to enjoy Triple Battles, you've come to the right spot. May I explain how Triple Battles work? No. They do intrigue me, but I, I am well aware, and I'm not going to take a chance. Alright, this will just be for Tenzig. Okay. Let's go. Here we go. Triple Battle. Triple Battle for the day. Triple Battle for the day. Triple better for the day. Grave. Why did you just send out a wall of power and they're all level 45? Shout outs to where I put Gabby. Just by the way. Shout outs to where I put Gabby. Just by the way. Alright, Gabby. Hit this heat crash on this. We're just gonna do one attack for each. Oh, it hits Gabby. Granted. It wouldn't do a lot, but let's see what happens here. 
Let's see what information I can gather. Fire is not very effective on Infezant. Infezant, or uh, that thing uses Flame Burst. Wait, Flame Burst, that's bad, that's scary. Okay. And that was... That's hilarious that he just used Brave Bird when there are birds. Okay. All right, cool. Cool, nice. All right, so let's switch. All right. I, I'm, I'm having to think so much because there's so much I'm having to try and remember. Okay, I knew that was gonna happen. Calculated! I knew that was going to happen. I calculated that. Well, thank you for hitting him and not my... Oh, really? He's gonna get a boost off of that? It's fine. If ice wasn't very effective, it's probably... Roshni is going to heal. Which one did I heat crash? Wait, I heat crashed them both and they really didn't do a lot of damage to each of them. Golduck is the bigger threat here, I think. I'm going to power whip the Unpheasant. Let's see what happens here. I think this is gonna be fine. I think we're gonna get through this A-okay. Because I'm taking it slow, and I'm making sure we don't lose anybody. Okay, hold on. He's using a conversion, which means I'll know his type. He transformed to the grass type. Oh, he used conversion already, so I'll be okay. Brave Bird extended all the way over. Can we? Absolutely not. He crashed the gold duck. That should take him out. And let's psychic the end pheasant. I did not know Brave Bird would extend all the way to the other side. It makes sense because it's a flying type move. But it's like, whoa. Oh, come on. Come on. You didn't have to do that. You know you didn't have to do that. Don't crit me and kill me from full. If you, if you would have crit, if you would have, ooh, ooh, ooh. If, if you, if you would have, if you would have, if you would have, well, I would have swung. I would have jumped in this freaking video game and I would start swinging at some people. All right, Tenzig, nice job. Nice, that was good. That was a good battle. That was legitimately a good battle. Now, is there another one upstairs? Because I could go for another one. I could go for another one. I felt all of our members did a good job, but because Roshni is level 46, I'm going to switch Roshni off of our roster, which means if, this, if whoever we're fighting decides to go for an eruption, we might have to make a new team. Okay, triple battle, triple battle, triple battle. Come on, we can do this. Come on, we can do this. You're not gonna have super strong Pokemon. Yes, you are, because everything is forced, fully evolved at this point. Because they're over level 40. I forgot about that. Okay, check it out, check it out, check it out. All right, I'm gonna go for Ice Beam on Lipard. I'm gonna go for Heat Crash on Amphros, and I'm gonna go for Power Whip on Gorbis. Let's see what happens. Gorbis uses Helping Hand. That's a little scary. Heat Crash. I'd be surprised. You lived, wow. That's gonna do some damage. Free Shock. All right, well, he's dead next turn anyway. Okay, but... 
How's the light part? The light part is still very much alive. He used Blaze Kick. I'm gonna heal Christine. Wait. Freeze Shock. Freeze Shock. Freeze Shock. Okay, I had to say it out loud a couple times so I would understand what was about to happen to me. No! He's gonna die. The free shock is gonna die. Free shock dies first. Okay. So I'm actually going to attack. I'm gonna power whip the light part. I'm gonna heat crash the Amphros. And then I'm gonna heal Christine. Brain! Brain! Brain power! Brain power! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And leaving the Gorobus alone was the right play. Because he has Truant. Wow, you suck. Wow, you suck. Please kick me. What? Get, to, get your sorry, stupid, dumb looking. St d uh, get get, get out of here. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. I'm a Bolt Switch. I'm a Toxic. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Strength. I'm a Strength. I'm a Strength. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I ain't scared of nothing you could... I ain't scared of nothing you could do. How did I know this thing would be Ghost type? Because I clicked Strength. I knew it. I knew it. Alright. This little camera angle that my iPad is providing right now is actually very strange. It's a very weird angle. I don't know how I feel about it. it looks weird. Anyway! Mission accomplished! I don't think there's any other battles here. I know there's a lot more homes and people to talk to. That person called Anna the Legendary Pokemon with this. He has to be a legendary hero, right? He's gonna chase the world, isn't he? He's gonna change the world. I don't think there's any more battles to be had. You're Amphros. Looks like you can try a little harder. You know what, woman? I ought to smack you in the face for talking like that about Christine. But... What? Alright, hold on. Roshni for sure. Roshni's good. What? I'm upset. I have upsetment. I have upsetment. We are talking way too much. Lend me a Pokemon like that? No. Go away. And you said something about having charge? I ain't got charge. Why would I have charge? Charge is worthless. That means you worthless, jerk. Taking up my time. Uh, I have a feeling this does something when it's snowy. Nothing ever happens in the Pokemon Center in these games. Trash can is empty. The trash can is always empty. Since that one trash can in Gen 1, they've all been empty. All of them. All of them. One person to talk to. Yeah, nothing ever happens in the Pokemon Center. That started in Gen 6. In Gen 6, they started being stuff in the Pokemon Center. I'm going to stop right here. This is where we're going to save today's episode. We explored Opelucid City. We heard Getz's talk yet again. Um, and then we did some triple battles. And we actually, like, dominated these triple battles. And don't forget about the fracture that we caught as well. In the next episode, we will go talk to these guys, which will then either trigger story or the gym battle. I don't quite remember, but... Certainly, the series is coming to a close-ish. I don't know how many more episodes. I, I want to try and get it done maybe before 60. I don't know. We'll see. This It seems like this playthrough is taking a really long time. But if you did enjoy today's episode of our Pokemon White Domination, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Thank you for checking out the video. Thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you for all of the support. I can't say thank you enough. We'll see you next time. Until then, have a blessed day.